Good afternoon. Today is Saturday the 9th of November. It's day 31 on the allotment. I've uh, got over here today. It's been raining all through the week and the ground is absolutely waterlogged. So in terms of digging, there isn't actually a great deal I can do because it's a bit of a swamp there. Um, I'm starting to wonder actually maybe if I just rough dug it. Uh, I was watching another video just before I came out of uh, Adam who has just got uh, a bigger plot. He had one plot and now he's just taken a bigger plot and uh, he was just going over and rough digging it, uh, not doing sort of the fine uh, digging and pulling out all the little uh, white roots in one go. Um, if I did that you know possibly, well certainly I would get things done quicker um, but I'm not sure if what I'd have is the kind of soil that I want because I think possibly what Adam, Adam's doing is uh, going to go through it with a, a second process um, to sort of go through things more finely. I, I don't know. He obviously knows much more about this than I do. But uh, all these little things that I wonder. But uh, we have come over here because there are a couple of things going on that I uh, can talk about and I can show you. So let me turn the camera around and uh, we'll take a look. Broad beans doing very nicely indeed. A couple of them having a bit of a, a munch by something. I don't know what it is. I actually didn't think that broad beans were that appetising. So uh, definitely, uh, I, you see, some of these are getting so big, I'm, I'm really not sure about a drinks bottle. They're too big for a, sort of uh, one of these two litre drinks bottles. What I possibly need are these um, sort of uh, big bottles that um, you see in sort of offices, those drinks dispensers, that that might be big enough. But uh, certainly some of those, um, I think a, a two litre cider bottle would uh, be uh, too small for them. But uh, coming through, I desperately need to do something about these weeds and uh, it is on my agenda. So uh, I'll be pulling those out and covering that up very soon because I don't want everything there to uh, take hold. What I've decided over here is that I'm going to attempt something that I've never done before and possibly when I do attempt it sort of will persuade me never to do it again which is that I'm going to attempt to sort of build quite a large raised bed um, running the full length here because the ground underfoot um, where that grass is it is grey in a clay I mean I I couldn't put anything in there. I mean, it's only the grass on top. There is everything else in there is dead. Um, there's a lot of stones. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is grow above ground, particularly when you come around this way and see just how waterlogged everything is. I mean, you can see where I've been walking earlier. And then there... <laughs> That is the bed I was digging. That water is actually a good eight inches deep. Uh, I put my welly in it earlier to take a look. You see, uh, I did put my fork in there, but I mean, it's absolutely silly. There is nothing going on there, so uh, not a lot is going to happen. Over here, onions doing very, very well indeed. Um, some of them getting quite large now, so uh, really, really pleased with my allium bed. Um, what I'm going to do is... Uh, um, sort of try and rescue my uh, garlic because that has to go in over the next few weeks uh, otherwise it's just going to sort of leave it really should be in now um, so the elephant garlic's here and I'm wanting to put the Lautrec garlic in over here uh, but until that bed's dug I can't do it so I know that yes or, okay today it's waterlogged but I am aware that I've got to get a move on it and I've got to do this very 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 quickly my raspberries continue to provide autumn bounty um, and they're absolutely lovely actually. Um, we've been trying them and uh, sort of when I come over here I always make sure that uh, I just test a few um, and take whatever's ready home. So uh, very, very pleased with these and uh, looking forward actually, now that I know what they are, um, to sort of building something more permanent so that uh, I can really help them on their way and hopefully get more raspberries. My rhubarb continues to take on a rosy glow. Uh, just sort of moving closer, you can see that those are very rhubarby colours there. 
and uh, sort of hopefully that's ready to spring into life. All around it, um, I'm pleased that uh, the weeds are being suppressed. What I'm going to do is put some cardboard around it um, so that uh, I can sort of protect that earth as much as possible. I know that rhubarb is very hardy, um, but I do also want to give it the best chance I possibly can. Um, and of course what I'm hoping is that sort of uh, it'll provide sort of uh, a nice sort of dry area for the rhubarb to grow over. Um, so uh, pushing everything back. Gradually I'll, I want to get towards this little pile and get that cleared away. In the compost bin, what I discovered, because I mean, I have a wife who's addicted to eBay and we order a lot of things from Amazon and whenever we do there's always this sort of brown wrapping paper and um, it's you know, really nice quality paper. Uh, you wouldn't use it for anything other than sort of padding. So. I've also been bringing down um, the um, kitchen scraps, but what I've thought, because they're a green for composting, and you need a green, you need a brown, uh, you need water, and you need air. So what I was thinking and what I've started to do is that whenever I put a layer of green down, what I then do is take a layer of this. I've brought you know, all of the, uh, the packaging down, and whenever I put a layer of green down, I then put a layer of this packaging over the top. So it acts as a sandwich. And what I'm hoping is that gradually what's going to happen is that this is going to sort of basically turn into one of the lasagna type uh, compost beds that Andy talks about. And so that hopefully what this means is that sort of my compost will... Uh, um, get richer and will do its thing quicker. So uh, this is an experiment. I'll, I'll obviously keep turning it, but at the moment, every time I put a, um, a layer of green, I also put a layer of this brown. What I've also done is to um, order more of the uh, the, the Guardman um, compost. This one is a 60 litre pack, and it's perfect actually just for fitting inside a rucksack. Um, so, you know, I was thinking that, you know, what I need more than anything right now um, is lots and lots and lots of compost. So I've ordered a few of these 60-litre um, compost packs, which um, sort of, uh, you know, build up. But of course, what I then need is a container to put it in. So what I've done is go out and order this. Now this is an 80 litre brand new bin ordered from Amazon and came complete with a lot of brown paper inside and a lot of cardboard outside which is now helping to suppress the weeds. Um, but what I was thinking, initially I bought this to think that well I'll keep my tools in here in the shed, you know, keep them tidy. But now what I'm thinking is well let's keep it on the plot and let's keep compost in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, one of these, and I've also got one of the 10 litre ones left, I'm going to put those into here and uh, see if I can build that up into compost. Now uh, last time it didn't make the full 10 litres, but there again I've been reading that you know, even though they claim that it's ready in five minutes, it's better to leave it for a good few hours, which is what I'm going to do. So that was a walk around my plot. Um, I've been sort of folding up the paper from inside the bin and sort of putting that so that it's easy to get at. Um, I think that that means also that, you know, I'm going to get better compost, um, that sort of just composting is going to get easier. So I think and I hope that I've cracked it. Um, be nice if anybody could say, yep, that's a really good idea or actually, no, you've got it wrong again. Um, <laughs> I am learning and it is trial and error. It's mostly error. <laughs> But I am getting there. Um, so what I'm going to do now is to uh, start to make up the compost and uh, we'll see how long that takes and whether it does actually um, sort of swell up to be the 60 litres if I give it enough time. So we'll try that now. So there are the one 10 litre and one 60 litre uh, block, which this bin is 80 litres. So that should be sort of relatively full without sort of filling over. So uh, now it's time to add water. Now it isn't clear, but I think it's basically 21 litres of water that you add. So we're going to put that in. 
Well, what I've done is to put enough water to basically cover the block. And uh, when I push it down, Um, it's not doing it now, but uh, before what was happening is uh, sort of when I pushed it down into the water, you could see it sort of bubbling. So uh, I'm going to carry on watching it. Now it should grow to almost fill this bin. Um, there's about 23 litres of water in there at the moment. I actually think I'm going to put a bit more in because uh, it seems to be eating it up. Um, you say they say it is impossible to waterlog this, and that as long as sort of uh, there's somewhere for it to drain away, then sort of it, it will do its stuff. Now that's fine as far as I'm concerned because I have plans for this, which uh, we're going to talk about later in the video. So I'm going to add a little bit more water, and then uh, we'll see uh, where it gets to from there. Well, that's about 35 uh, liters of water. And given that this is supposed to add up to 70 now litres uh, of compost, so that's 50-50. Um, I'm not sure I want to add any more in yet, so I'm just going to let it do its thing. I've had a little dig and the block is starting to break up. It's definitely sort of expanded. So what I think I'm going to do is to sort of see how that does and then if necessary add some more and I think I'm also going to leave this until tomorrow um, because there probably just won't be time to do the things that I want to do today with it. It's getting quite late now um, but uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what happens. So let's remind ourselves again that's what we started off with. Plant a compost, guardsman 60 litres. Now we, we actually put another 10 litre block in there as well um, so it should have made up to 70 litres. And there we are. Now, I actually don't think that's 70 litres. Um, I think that's closer to 60 litres. It might be just over. Um, but, you know, the water, it's moist to the touch without being waterlogged. Um, it's expanded. It looks really good soil. So I'm very, very happy and I think I'm, I'm ready to pronounce this a success. Uh, what's also good is that uh, the sun today uh, that we've, we've had um, has actually warmed the bucket up, uh, the, the bin up rather. So uh, the sides feel warm. So that's also warmed up the temperature of the compost. So uh, it shouldn't shock my plants. Well, the whole idea of uh, making this compost up is because uh, I want to plant something. Now, this is a planter that I've been looking, I knew what I wanted, I just couldn't find it. Um, it takes apparently 60 litres of soil and I've just filled that up with compost. Now what's interesting is if I do go back to the begin, to the bin, um, I don't know if you can see there from the shadow, but if that takes 60, there is definitely 10 litres of compost left in the bottom of that. So maybe it did expand all the way through. But this is what it's all about, because I have here some strawberries. Now, they were taken from cuttings, uh, yeah, runners this year, and they've just been sitting in pots sort of in our yard. Um, and I desperately wanted to plant them. So what I'm thinking is, because uh, I know that... Um, people were saying that the towers that you can buy dry out. So I thought, well, if it's an entire pot, and I don't know if you can see, but there are little flaps along the side so that you can plant them in the top here, but there's also little flaps along here where you can also plant them. So I was thinking that that might be the best way to keep my strawberries. So went out looking for this planter. Um, I found really expensive versions that are made out of wood and metal. But I thought, well, you know, uh, it's an experiment, so I just want to give it a go first of all. Um, so I found this, I'm very, very happy about it, so that's what we're going to plant next. So now my strawberries are in. Um, I've used two pockets at the front here because the sun comes over, and so if I used the pockets over this side, there would be some of them that wouldn't get any sun whatsoever. 
what I have noticed is that the pocket that's lowest down, there's a collection of water there, so I need to improve the drainage on this. And I think what I'm going to do, because I've just seen um, on a building site, there's uh, a couple of uh, pallets just uh, lying there. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, go and claim those um, so that I can raise this up so that uh, I've got a bit better uh, drainage um, through it. Um, I'm sure it will drain away, it's because yeah, the compost was uh, sort of 50% water um, and uh, absorbed it. Um, I am very, very pleased with this compost. Um, I hope that the strawberries you know, are sort of got enough time to grow up a bit and get their roots settled um, before sort of uh, winter comes. We've got the rest of this month, so hopefully we'll be all right. But uh, I'm hoping that that's going to be a success. Looking into my trench, and I don't know if you can see that, um, but uh, the ground is there, really, really still waterlogged. So digging in that is really not going to be a lot of fun. Um, and I suspect also it will be quite a fruitless task. So uh, no digging's happening today. Um, it's a shame because I haven't got that much farther to go um, to get back. Um, I'd really, really love to get my garlic in either sort of next week, certainly the week after. But uh, depending on what's happening with the ground, I've got some ideas what I'm going to do with that as well. Um, I think sort of the watchword for sort of as autumn turns into winter is basically be resourceful. Um, keep thinking of ideas. Um, I'm not claiming that I know what I'm doing. Um, in fact, some of them are probably going to fail, but uh, getting ready to fail is the only way I'm going to le learn. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep having ideas and we'll try them out. And uh, as I do, I'll tell you about them. <laughs> My word, that pellet, pallet uh, was heavy. Um, I didn't go down there with a wheelbarrow, which was a huge mistake. Um, and uh, it was just at the bottom of a hill, which meant, of course, I had to lug it up. And it's one of those sort of really hard wood pallets that they uh, stack bricks on. Um, but anyway, we got it here. <laughs> Let me uh, turn the camera around and show you my masterpiece for the day. <laughs> and so there it is, my strawberries. It's been placed in the part of the plot you know, um, in the top corner where it's going to get most sun. Um, so we're giving it every chance we can. Um, I could see actually as soon as I put the, um, the planter on top of the pallet um, that water was draining off immediately. So that is a good idea to do that. Um, I probably should have put some gravel in the bottom of it, but I was a bit worried that it was going to split. Um, so hopefully being raised up like that, water can just fall through and fall out. Um, so that's good. Um, I'm very, very pleased and I'm hoping that there is enough time so that uh, after all that these strawberries can live and uh, hopefully have some strawberries for next year. Of course there is a lot of room uh, for it to expand into. Um, I'll be keeping an eye on that lower pocket because uh, that's obviously sort of like uh, the, the, the next prime space available in the planter. It has got handles, but uh, when I tried to pick it up with the handles, they immediately started to tear off. So those handles are designed for it not being full to the top. Um, in fact, I don't think you can fit very much compost in that at all uh, before those handles start to uh, um, strain and break. So uh, if you get those, don't try and pick it up by the handles. Um, you've got to get right the way around it. Um, rest of the plot is as you saw it. Um, it's a shame that I couldn't get any digging done today. Um, but, I mean, every time I'm down here something new happens. Uh, there's another little bit that gets dealt with. Um, I'm now utilising this space down here. Uh, so that pleases me and my broad beans continue to grow. I've put the, uh, the next block of compost in uh, for that to break down over the week, so uh, we're going to put the water into that now. And I think the idea here is so that I make sure that um, 
this is full of uh, nice rich compost for me to use and that's going to make life an awful lot easier whilst um, my compost in the black bin forms over the next 6, 8, 12 months. So pleased about that as well. Well, I've reached that point of the day where I've probably done everything that I can do today and can't really start anything else because the light will go fairly soon. <laughs> so that really does bring us to the end of the day. Um, I'm very pleased with uh, my adventures with compost today and I'm very relieved that I've finally got time to do something with my strawberries because I know, I, I mean, it may even be too late now. Um, I'm hoping the fact that they have been outside, even though they've been in pots, um, the sun is really nice when it shines, so I'm hoping they will get a bit of a move on, get enough of a hold, so that they can see through the winter. <laughs> um, collecting pallets was a harder job than I thought it was going to be, but uh, overall, yes, I'm pleased with what we've done today. Uh, given the weather conditions and how wet the soil was, yeah, we weren't going to get any digging done, but oh well, there is another weekend. Thank you so much for watching. That was day 31 on the allotment that happened over this weekend. I will see you next time for day 32. Goodbye.